Hello YouTube, Al here, and this week I want to talk about my Blue Mexican Strat. So, new pit guard, new pickups. These are Fender Tex-Mex pickups. Uh, they're the most cost-effective pickups that Fender make. And I replaced the stock pickups that were in this, that were the, um, just the bog standard. This is a 2005 or 2006 guitar, I think 2005. Um, is there a five at the start? Yes, yeah, a five at the start. So it's 2005, but it did come with a big block. So I wonder if there was a transition period. Anyway, um, there were the stock ceramic two bar magnet on the bottom sort of pickups. They were very sterile, anemic. They were hard work. They made the guitar hard work to play. These Tex-Mex are Al Nico pickups. Um, they're Al Nico five, I think. They're about 7k each, so they're, they're re relatively hot for, for single core pickups. I don't find them too hot for me. They're absolutely fine. I've not had them in here long. This guard is hideous, I know. Um, I ordered a red taut one. What I wanted was that. What I got was that. So uh, it's a bit, uh, yeah, it's a bit. You know when you vomit up curry on a carpet? Yeah. So, so I'm gonna I'm gonna put the 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 nice the nice looking dark one. Oh look at that! That is what I wanted. That's the money maker. That's what I was going for. Hell yeah, son. Hell yeah. That. So this guy's gonna be going on at some point. Um, but anyway, I've got the Tex-Mex in. It's still got the shielding plate behind the pit guard, which will make a difference. It's got the U.S. saddles on it. It's got brass block but the only thing since the last time i played this thing on camera is the pit guard and the pickups so i'm going to somewhere i'm going to insert some playing from last week where i played this guitar up against my white encore um and i did that as it was stock so i'm going to insert some footage of that now <laughs> seems to clean up about the same amount. Oh, 
keep, keep stuffing today. <laughs> Again, back to four. Position uh, five, the neck. Like the tones rolled off on the neck. No, four. four. It's all on ten. Almost wo woman tone. Do you know what I mean? Very nasal. So that's the middle on its own neck in, mid in four though. That sounds quite subdued. Subdued. Okay, four. Bridge. And now you've heard that, let's hear what it sounds like with the tech specs pickups in. So, uh, I'm going through the same amp as last time, my Marshall with JCM602. Um, I have not touched the amp setting since last time. I'm going to be going straight in. No pedals, folks. No pedals. Right, let's see how it sounds. Cool, so plugged in again, no pedals, just straight to the amp. Here we go.
bridge middle again. <laughs> on its own. That one, sorry. So these two again, middle and br uh, bridge and neck, yeah. Neck and middle, sorry. neck on its own again. if you can guess that song. What riff is it? Play badly. Here's a clue. You never listen to a word that I say. Anyway, so there you go. Uh, that's a quick blast with the Tex-Mex pickups in it. Now what I will say is, this guitar sounds a lot more stratty when it's going through my custom double barrel, rather than my Marshall uh, JCM2, uh, 2000, JCM600, sold the 2000 ages ago. Um, there's something about this amp that's quite a dark amplifier. There's a, even on the bridge pickup, I mean, there's a bloody Strat and there's, there's loads of girth there. You'd be, you know, forgiven for thinking it's a, it's a bloody P90. It's, it's so, oh. You know. Bonus points if you can guess that song. Um. It has a real, real amount of lower mids and 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 push to this amplifier. When I play it through my custom, which is a lot more Fender voiced, it really, really sings the Strat song. It's a lot cleaner. It's a lot spankier, a lot sharper. But this is just an absolute sledgehammer. <laughs> I'm playing big chords, but that's what's fun, you know. Um, so, yeah, just bear that in mind that this amplifier is quite a dark amplifier. Um, there's nothing wrong with it. I believe that it's perfectly healthy, but yeah, just bear that in mind. So if it seems a bit dark, it's not the pickups being dark. It's still AB comparison with the same amp anyway, but just bear in mind that 
it's a dark amplifier. It's not that the pickups are really dark, although the guitar is a bit girthy and a bit weighty within itself. So there you go. I think you'll probably agree that these Tex-Mex do sound better than the stock MIM pickups that were in there originally. Um, they have a lot more dynamic to them. They have a lot more body to the note. Ceramic pickups, I've, I tend to find, can be quite brittle to the point of being harsh or uh, aggressive. Um, not really aggressive, but but bite. It's all it's all bite coming straight at you in the face. Um, there's there's not a lot of body to the sound. I feel like these pickups have a lot more body um, and have a lot more character to the note. And especially when I dig in on certain notes, I can feel the guitar responding and sort of. I can feel it giving back a bit. I can feel it giving back, whereas before it was absolutely fighting me all the way. Now this guitar is still fighting me a bit, but I know exactly why that is. It's because this guitar is from 2005 and the frets are worn because it's a... There are kids in fucking sixth form who are, who are born the same year as this guitar, you know? So it, it does need a fret level and a bit of a polish. It does have some flat frets. It does need a bit of attention. It's one of them that it, it, I'll get round to it or, or I'll get someone to get round to it at some point. But that's why the guitar's still fighting me a little bit. There you go, stock tuners, skunk stripe, rosewood board. I believe the body is older. This colour's called Midnight Blue, by the way. It's not Sonic Blue, it's not Lake Placid Blue, it's Midnight Blue. So, there you go. I hope this has been helpful if you're considering the Tex-Mex pickups and you have a Mexican Strat with these stock ceramic pickups. Um, I would absolutely say these are an improvement. Whether any pickup will suit your guitar or not is a bit of a judgement call because no two pieces of wood are going to be the same. So I've had guitars that were quite dark and I've put a pickup in it that I saw someone else use and went, wow, they sing, sound great. I'm going to buy that pickup. And it did not work at all. When I put a war pig in my Charvel, it went to absolute mud. It was awful. I just, I just, there was so much low end, I couldn't do a damn thing with it. Um, as soon as I swapped that out for a Duncan design distortion, not even a Seymour Duncan one, an Asian made, uh, not replica because they're licensed, but you know what I mean. Um, the guitar just absolutely came to life. So much sparkle and high end, just there you go. So I'm not gonna say that these pickups will suit any guitar, any strat of this, you know, cause yeah, all wood's different, your mileage may vary, blah, blah, blah. But in terms of dynamic response, I would say that these are absolutely, absolutely better than the stock pickups that came in this. Um, my 2010 Sunburst Strat, I used that for a jam uh, on Saturday with a couple of mates. Sounded fantastic, sounded great. Uh, I'm going to leave those pickups alone. Out of interest, I'm pretty sure they have Elnico slugs. These have Elnico slugs. You can see because of the dark grey colour. Can you see that? The dark grey colour on the slugs. Almost like graphite from a pencil, that sort of colour. Um, which is very, very, very different from the chrome-dipped... Um, slugs with the rings on it that you get on this stock pickup so the construction is entirely different but anyway if you need to buy if you need to buy some pickups for your guitar and you're not sure where to start because once you've got a set in there that are a known quantity you can see how dark or bright they are and you can you can you know swap them for other sets that are darker or brighter or higher output or lower output or whatever um, you want a good place to start to be honest the Tex-Mex are a damn good place to start and they're only about 90 quid or something for the set um, At least from gear for music where I got these I just paid full whack, you know, um, they're on sale really good plot Word really good price and I think if you need a known quantity to sort of start with These are a really good place to start So I hope this has been helpful um, Like subscribe like blah, blah, blah. Word. I cannot speak today like and subscribe and all that nonsense if you feel like it. I don't get paid for these videos. I don't want to be paid for these videos. I don't want to give YouTube money. When I reach a thousand subscribers, which is 
assuming time is linear, it may well happen at some point. I'm not going to monetize. Sod all that. But anyway, if you want honest opinions, by all means, give me a like. Thanks. Um, yeah, I hope this has been helpful. The Tex-Mex are really, really nice pickups. I cannot say how they compare to Texas Specials or anything like that. I have a set of Fat 50s. Um, I haven't tried them yet. So, anyway, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next week. Till then, bye-bye. Bye! -bye. bye.